Okay, I showed you a recipe using crescent rolls uh, a few days ago. So now I'm gonna show you one using pizza crust. Actually, last night I made these. We had chili for supper and I made this recipe. But last night I had, I actually had crescent rolls, but I just rolled it out in a sheet and pressed it together. So this is what I have today because I'm gonna make these again because we're eating leftover chili for lunch. And this is what I had in the fridge, so this is what I'm gonna use. It's probably gonna make way more than what we need to eat, but I'll stick them in the fridge or send them across the road to Ken on Andy or something. She so just unroll. And like I said, you can use crescent rolls for this or you could probably even use canned biscuits, just flatten them out and do a little individual. Okay, what I have here is, I have homemade pimento cheese. You don't have to use homemade, you can use store-bought. I just made mine last night because I had the stuff to make it. I did not have store-bought pimento cheese, so I just used what I had. So just put your pimento cheese on your crust. Spread it out. This pimento cheese that I made, I used just block Velveeta. I had about, I don't know, a little over half of a big block of Velveeta in the fridge. And I had one jar of pimentos. Drain those. And I added an eight ounce block of cream cheese and probably a half to three quarters of a cup of mayo. Then I added some salt and pepper and some onion powder. That's it, that's all that's in this. And my cheese is still a little chunky because I knew I was gonna use it for this and it would melt some, so I wasn't real worried about getting it small. I just kind of smooshed it up when I made it. But I also have made homemade pimento cheese with just shredded package cheese. If At Walmart, you can get the shredded Velveeta. I like it. It's handy because it's, a, you know, you can make a small amount. That way you don't have a huge tub like I have here. So just spread that on everywhere. And then... Just roll it up. This will be good for kids to make. It's easy. And really, these are a lot better than I thought they were going to be. I was talking to Kendall trying to figure out something to have. Some kind of sandwich type something to have with our chili. And I had, this had crossed my mind, but she mentioned it again. So... You can kind of stuff your ends in if they're poked out on the end some. And I'm out of parchment paper, and I'm not happy about that. I need to get out and get some. Just kind of pinch your little seam closed there. And then take a good knife. I like a bread knife for this kind of stuff because it'll kind of saw through better than just a regular knife. Lay them out on your sprayed pan. Heat your oven at, this says 400 on the pizza dough. Uh, the crescent rolls, I think, was $3.75. So, anywhere in there is probably okay. Just cut your... They make makes pinwheels. Okay, I'm tired of sawing. So, we're just going to cut down through these. Then we'll smash them out. Lay my hair. You want them... I like if you're baking cookies, you want them a couple inches apart. Because they will spread... Quite a bit, not a ton, but they'll spread some when they cook, when they bake. I'm trying to get the camera up on the on the sheet here so you can see. How they're laid out on the cookie sheet.
And you can do all kinds of things here. You can do different, different fillings. I know this stuff's probably not super duper healthy, but kind of hard to come up with stuff. I know everybody's in a lot and kids are, you know, have been out of school and now they're out completely for the summer. Mine might still be too close, but we're going to wing it. Okay. That's it. That's all you do. And we're going to pop them in the oven and we'll see how they turn out. I'll be back. And here they are, out of the oven. They baked probably 10, 15 minutes. I put the broiler on them for just a couple of minutes just to get them kind of brown and bubbly on top. So there you go. There's your quick snack or something to go with a meal, soup or something. Give it a try. Let me know what you think.